Life Mark Seniors Wellness Disclaimer. So this exercise video is presented by Active Health Services for Life Mark Seniors Wellness. Please note you should always consult with your physician prior to following this video or any exercise program. This video does not replace nor should you interpret it as medical advice. Do not proceed with any exercises that are beyond your fitness or ability level. And for safety reasons, we highly recommend you have someone in your presence while you participate in our online videos. If you experience any pain or discomfort at any point during these videos, please stop and never ignore or delay seeking medical attention if pain or discomfort persists. And as with any exercise program, there are risks in participating. Participation in LifeMark Seniors Wellness class is done so at one's own risk. Understanding no medical assessment or supervision is provided to determine suitability for the program. LifeMark Seniors Wellness is not responsible or liable for any harm, loss, medical problems, or the consequences you may suffer resulting from the use of this video or the reliance on the information provided to you in this video. And by choosing to proceed with this video, you are acknowledging you understand the terms on which we're providing the video and you agree to those terms. And if for any reason you're not comfortable with these terms or you do not fully understand them, kindly ask that you do not proceed with the exercises at this time. All right. So just make sure you have some water. Your chair for balance, should you need that. And of course you can start seated, seated if you like. Three breaths, all right? So lift your heart, your back is flat, whether you're standing or sitting. All right, so three breaths in, pull from your belly or your diaphragm and in and out through your nose. Relax your shoulders and your jaw as you exhale. Kind of the reason we get you to, I get you to breathe before we start our class is just to kind of center you, get you into the idea of it, all right? So again, just rolling march. I just want to get your feet going here. All right, you're gonna roll on the balls of your feet. All right, you're gonna start with your head, neck, all right? So drop your chin to your chest. Again, keep your heart lifted and your back flat. Actually, we can add a little bit of arms here too, if you like. Breathe. Inhale your head up to center. And we're gonna go a little higher here. Lift your chin up, and you can look up. Excellent. Bring your head back to center again. Turn your head to your left. Be gentle, bring your head back to center. And in the other direction, when you're ready. Excellent. And back to center again. Nice and easy. Perfect. Just gonna do some shoulder rolls here. Just keep your feet going. Small to medium sized circles. Excellent. And change direction when you're ready. Perfect. Bring your shoulders down to a rest. Shake them out if you like. Keep your feet going. Just gonna add some arms here. Again, still warming up, so nothing too major. Let me bring your hands out front. I'm just going to get you to wiggle your fingers. Fantastic. Roll your wrists. And you're going to bring your arms straight out front. Perfect. Change direction. Excellent. Your heart lifted in your back flat. Try and keep your feet going if you can. Bring your arms out to the side. 
perfect. Fingertips up. So I'm just gonna tilt your arms, keep your body straight. Excellent. Nice deep breath in here. Excellent, back to center. And when you're ready, the other side. Push high and push low if you like. Excellent. If you feel that stretch in, or that movement in your uh, arms, your forearms, straighten fingers, wiggle your fingers here. Excellent. You make a fist, you're gonna flick. So fist and flick, flick. Excellent. Perfect. Three more, and two, and one. Excellent. Bring your arms down. We're just going to give them a little roll, shake, whatever feels good. <laughs> Excellent. You're going to stay with your uh, rolling march here. Again, just going to add some arms. A little bit more this time. Perfect. Let's try some uh, shoulder shrugs here. So, arms, you can drop them down again. Alternate between the sides and down. Let it rest. Up and down. Let your shoulder rest. So make sure they seat down once you lower them. Shoulders, I mean. Down. Perfect. Up and down. One more on each side. Down. Other side and down. Fantastic. Just gonna pick your feet up. So I'm just gonna do a toe tap straight down. I'm gonna add your arms in here. Again. Excellent. A little hip twist in. Nice and easy. Hip twist out. Perfect. I'm just going to go back to a, uh, going to go to a march and stay at our march here. Arms drop by your side. I'm going to do some bicep curls and release. Arms up and flex your muscles and release. Up, flex, release. Perfect. So nice even breaths. Inhale through your nose. Pull from your belly or your diaphragm. And we go through these. Perfect. Two more. And down. Last one. Shake your arms out. Excellent. Let me see, we cover everything? Pretty much. Got to keep going here. All right, so have a sip of water if you like. And all the way through, stay hydrated. Make sure you're sipping your water. All right. So again, if you need your chair to keep going, Fine, do that. If you need to sit, that's okay too. You do what works for you, all right? Always. Bring your hands up front here. And bring your knees to your hands. Excellent. If you're holding on to the chair, that's okay too. Excellent. I'm going to change to a hamstring curl. I'm just going to turn a little bit here so I can see my chair. Hands go down. Start pushing back. And bring your heels up. That's the ticket. Heart lifted. Back flat. Excellent. Breathe. Nice. 
and bring your hands out front again. And bring your knees up to your hands. Fantastic. Bring your hands down and into our march. Nice work. All right. We're going to do some heel digs to the front. So your heel is going to go forward. Okay. Hands is going to push. And your extension. You want to keep a small bend in your elbows. Don't put your arms fully straight when you push. Breathe. So keep your heels to the front. We're going to change our hands. Bring them down. We're just going to push forward. Push. Excellent. And you just bring them in line with your body when they come back. So it's not quite a full swing. Excellent. So four. And three. And two. And we're going to flip our hands around and push back. Heels forward still. Nice even breaths here. Perfect. And back to our march again. Nice. Just wiggle those fingers. Excellent. So it's going to get you to exaggerate your arms a little bit more. Maybe lift your feet off the ground a little bit more. Perfect. All right. Just lower your feet down just a little bit. Stay with your march. I'm going to reach out, and grab, and pull. Reach, grab, pull, reach, grab, pull, excellent. Four more, reach, grab, three, reach, grab, two, last one, grab and pull, excellent. Hands down by your side. Bring your arms out by your side again. Try and stay with that march if you can. If the lifting your feet is too much, roll on the balls of your feet. Okay, you have a choice. Lots of choices here. Little circles with your arms. Excellent. Turn the sideways a bit. Excellent. Change direction of your arms. Circles, that's the ticket. Perfect. Hang on. Fantastic. And just lower your arms down. Nice and easy. Take your time. Bring your feet apart. Toe tap here. Perfect. Add a swing. Nice. Just gonna add finger snaps at the end. Excellent. Get you to plant both of your feet. I'm gonna shift side to side. So like you're stirring a big stew. Slow that down a little bit more. Extend your arms out front. Excellent. Perfect. You feel those as you go to one side, the leg straightens. To the other side, it straightens. Perfect. Change the direction with that stir. Excellent. Breathe. It's a big pot. Just saying. Excellent. Draw that ladle. And bring yourself back up. Again, start with that toe tap. Excellent. Whatever foot is tapping, 
That's the arm that's going to come up. Nice. Breathe. And as always, work at your own pace. Perfect. Bring your arms down again. And then bring your feet back together. Just do this step touch here. Perfect. Is that our arms? Cross in front. Excellent. And cross in the back. Nice work. Bring your arms back to the front again. Excellent. Perfect. And back to your march. Nice work. I'm going to do some um, cross country skiing. I mean, the weather's coming. Touch back. Make sure you know where your chair is. Oops. Extend those arms up as best you can. Let them swing. Fantastic. Perfect. And come back to your march again. Nice work. So with your fists, you're going to make some tight fists. Tight-ish, like you're holding an egg. All right, you're holding eggs in your hands. I'm gonna do some punches. So stay with your feet going here. We're gonna punch right hand first. All right, count you in. So four, three, two, and one. Punch, punch, hook, and up. Punch, punch, hook, and up. Punch, punch, hook, up. Punch, punch, hook, up. Punch, punch, hook. Fantastic. Hook, and up. Three more. Punch, hook, up. Two. Hook, and up. Last one. Punch, hook, and up. Perfect. Keep your fists up. Okay. We're going to start punching with our left hand, left arm this time. Okay. When you extend your arm, keep a small bend in that elbow. All right. Count you in again. Four, three, two, one. Left arm. Punch, punch, hook, and up. Punch, punch, hook, and up. Punch. Punch, hook, up, perfect. Don't forget, breathe it from your belly, in and out through your nose if you can. Three more, hook, up, two, punch, hook, last one. Punch, punch, hook, and up, fantastic. Stay with your march here, add your arms. Nice work. We're going to do a little uh, forward-backward movement here. Okay. One foot in front of the other. And you're just going to go heel-toe. Okay. Hold onto your chair if you need to. Kind of a balancey thing. Okay. So from here, if this is enough for you, you stay right here. Use your chair if you need it. If you want a little bit more, like a string attached to your front foot, you can do a rocking horse. Lift that foot off the ground and then your back. Okay, so front foot and back. Excellent. How high you lift those legs is totally up to you. How you feel, how comfortable you are, how balanced you are. Excellent. Breathe.
Perfect. Bring your feet back down. Perfect. So whatever leg is leading, it's going to go behind. Other leg is going to lead this time. Perfect. Ready? Stay here or continue on. Perfect. Just a couple more. Excellent. Bring your feet back down. Heel toe. Nice. Excellent. Breathe. So I'm going to get you to pick a leg. Doesn't matter which one. Just going to a little toe tap here. Okay. If you need your chair for balance, do that. Okay. I'm going to add a little cart pump here. One foot taps. The other is supporting your weight. Pump. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fantastic. I'm going to switch legs. Perfect. Nice. Back to our march again. Fantastic. So with any luck, we reached kind of a, got your heart rate up a little bit. That's a good thing. So from here, we're just gonna cool down so plant your balls of your feet on the floor and you're just going to lift your heels, rolling march, okay. Hands, just going to rotate your wrists again, bring them up, excellent. I'm just going to flex, extend those arms, that's the ticket. Perfect. And continue on with that roll. Bring your arms out by your side. Fantastic. Palms up. Fingertips together. Bring them to your shoulders. And then elbows together. Elbows apart. Nice even breaths here. Perfect. Just a couple more here. Last one. Perfect. Bring your arms out and down. Shake them out a little bit. Nice. Maybe off to the side, the other side, the front. Nice. Staying with your rolling march. Shoulder shrugs, both at the same time. So up and down, let them set. Excellent. Perfect. Up, all the way down. Up, all the way down, nice. Two more. Last one. Fantastic, shake that out. Perfect. Stay with your rolling march if you can. I'll get you to drop your chin to your chest. Gently, mindfully, and roll your left ear over your left shoulder. Slow down your march a bit. Nice. Don't force anything. Excellent. Breathe. Bring your chin back down to your chest. Nice and easy. And when you're ready, roll to the other side. 
right here over right shoulder. Excellent. Perfect. Roll your chin back down. Excellent. Bring your chin back up to center. We're just going to give a little stretch up. Excellent. Back to center again. Perfect. Tuck your elbows in. Hands up front. Okay. Fingers to thumbs. Excellent. Don't look. You got this. Excellent. Heart lifted and your back flat. Best posture. Nice. And that's whether you're sitting or standing. Excellent. You wiggle your fingers up here. Fantastic. Arms down. One at a time. Raise it up. Flex and down. Other side. Flex and down. Alternate between the sides. Flex and release. Other side, same thing. Fantastic. Excellent. Shake that out again. Perfect. A little bit more on your legs here. Toe tap straight down. Move your arms a little bit. <clears throat> Help with balance. Hip twist in. Breathe. Hip twist out. Fantastic. And back to your march again. Rolling march, I mean. <laughs> Excellent. So from here, we're going to go to weights. Again, you can sit or stand, totally your call here. Have a sip of water. Today I'm choosing to stand, but whatever you like for you is good. Twist down a little bit. If you're standing, the only difference between standing and sitting, if you're standing, you want your knees to be soft. You don't want uh, your knees to be locked. All right, so soft knees, all right? I'm gonna go to the side first. So lift your heart, your back is flat, whether you're standing or sitting. Again, one arm at a time, out to the side, and down, fantastic, and on the other side. Perfect, and down. Excellent. So I exhale as you lift up, and inhale down. Try and keep these movements as smooth as you can. Excellent. Exhale, inhale back. Fantastic. So our counts today, I'm gonna to do 10 counts. That's right, the number 10. <laughs> reps rather and you just work at your own pace find what works for you and down to the last two if you're following along you kind of got lost in it that's good listen to your body there should be no pain here excellent let your shoulders relax as our side, we're going to go from to the front this time. Again, heart lifted, your back flat. We can do both if you want to the front. We'll mix it up a little bit here. So both arms are going to raise up, shoulder height, and back down. All right. So exhale as your arms come up. Inhale down. Excellent. Exhale as they come up. Inhale down, perfect. Work on keeping your back flat. You don't want any arch in it. 
I'm trying to keep it as flat as you can. Excellent. If you find that your back is uh, trying to arch, trying to curl to uh, help you lift, you find you tuck your tail. So just tilt your pelvis as if you're pushing your pelvis forward. Okay, so tuck your tail, as it were. We're down to the last three. Exhale up for two. Last one. Exhale up and down. Fantastic. Okay. I'm going to set down one of your weights. Just down on the floor or just out of your way for the moment. And do some uh, tricep extensions. All right. So again, if you're standing, soft knees. Get that weight in close to you. All right. One arm is going to be down by your side. The other arm is going to be up. That's the ticket. <clears throat> and again, exhale as you lift up. Inhale back. Fantastic. Breathing in and out through your nose, pulling from your belly. So all that's doing is when you breathe from your belly, you're activating your diaphragm, of course. But you're also uh, making your core work a little bit harder. It's not a bad thing. Excellent. And we're down to the last five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Fantastic. Let's bring that arm in. That weight in close to your body. Actually, just drop your arms down, shake that out. When you're ready, if you're going to jump along with this one, again, extend up and back down. Perfect. Nine, eight, breathe from your belly. Seven, six, exhale, five, exhale, four, three, two, and one. And again, bring that weight in close to your body. Perfect. Set those both down for a moment. Shake your arms out. Have a sip of water. Alrighty. So if you're standing, we're going to do put one foot in front of the other. Another leg back. You're bending both. The arm you're not using, keep that in your hip or you're hanging onto your chair. That's what you're choosing to do. Other arms down. What you can do is keep your arm close to your body. I'm going to face you first so you can see. So other arm is in, tight to your body and down. All right. So just like you're pulling up your sock. Excellent. Keep that front knee over the ankle. And back as flat as you can. Excellent. If you're sitting on a chair, you're just at the edge of the chair and you're doing the exact same thing. Flat back, knees a little more bent, still the same process. Keeping that weight close to your side, making like a chicken wing. You bring that elbow up. Perfect. And we're down to three more. Two. One, fantastic. Come back up. I'm gonna switch sides. And if you're in the chair, it's the same thing. You're just switching your sides. Front knee over the ankle, back leg bent and supporting you. Okay. If you needed to, the chair was there to hold on to. All right. Flat back. 
right? You want your uh, feet, now that I'm saying this, you want your feet uh, uh, like hip width apart too. You're not in line, they are uh, separated. Gives you more stability, all right? Keep that arm in tight. Excellent. Perfect. Excellent. Five more. <clears throat> Excuse me. Four. Try and keep your back flat. Three. Two. And one. Excellent. Bring yourself up. Take a breath. You're making it through all this. Work at your own pace. Listen to your body. Nothing should hurt. All right? No pain. It can be uncomfortable. It can be a struggle, but no pain. Anytime you feel pain, just stop. Let that feeling leave and then join, join in on the next exercise. All right? Up front. Yes. Weights together. Or if you're not using weights, that's fine. You're still going to go through with the uh, movements, all right? Keep your elbows bent. Excellent. Elbows up, back. Fantastic. Keep breathing. Feed your muscles so they can complete all of these. Excellent. Breathe. All right, we're down to our last few here. Four. Elbows up. Three. Two. And one. Excellent. Fantastic. Keep those weights in close. Excellent. Okay, so I think we covered all the angles here. You can set your weights down, just out of your way. Have a seat. If you're not already seated, do some seated strength exercises here. Take a breath first. Have a sip of water if you like. You should encourage that. Excellent. All right. With your heart lifted. Front of your chair. Let me start off some easy stuff here. Okay. Or easy ish. One foot, bring that toe out. I'm just going to drag it back. I'm use the same leg. I'm going to do 10 of these here on this leg, 10 on the other leg. Excellent. You want a little bit of friction on that, so you want to push down with that toe. Excellent. Breathe. All from your belly. And with all that going on, keep your heart lifted and your back flat. Eventually, this will all become second nature. You won't even have to think about it anymore. It just happens all by itself. For the most part. Excellent. Three more. Two. And one. Switch sides. Drag that foot back. Toe on the mat and drag it back. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Fantastic. Stay at the front of your chair. Feet are flat on the floor, of course. Knees over your ankles. You're going to hinge from your hips. Just bring your elbows up. 
across them up front. And do some seated crunches here. All right, so exhale first as you go forward. Keep those elbows lifted. Nice flat back. Inhale back. Touch your shoulder blades against the back of the chair. And then exhale forward again. Excellent. So if you find it too easy, you can go further up on your chair, towards the front of your chair. And if you find it too hard or can't reach the back, shift your hips back. If that chair is too tall for you, <laughs> which can happen, you're just gonna have to adjust, I'm afraid. You may not come all the way back, but you'll feel it in your core as you lean back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Nice flat back here. All hinging from your hinge from your hips. <laughs> hinging from your hips. Excellent. We're down to our last few here. Three. Two. Exhale forward. And one. Just come off the back of that chair. Hold that for three, two, one. Perfect, come all the way up. Lower your arms down. Fantastic. Shake those elbow or shoulders out. Take a couple of breaths here. And again, sip of water if you like. And do some chair walks. So just make sure you're, you can clear your hands between your glute and the chair. Walk your way to the back of the chair. And then walk your way to the front of the chair. Make sure you engaged your uh, rib muscles. I just don't want you teetering back and forth too much. It's better if you can lift and engage your hips core muscles. So just walk into the front to the back of your chair. Excellent. One more time to the front. Excellent. And one more time to the back. And I'm going to get you to stay there. Fantastic. So back up against your chair. Again, your feet flat on the floor and your knees above your ankles, all right? From here, I'm gonna do some sit to stands. Whatever it takes to get you up is good. Try and do it nice and smooth with all the grace you have, all right? Whenever you're ready, just gonna jump right in here. Inhale as you come up and exhale as you go down. Slow, nice and easy. Make sure your knees are behind your toes as you come up and as you lower down. Exhale down gracefully. Nice. <laughs> Inhale back up. Again, I'm doing 10. You work at your own pace as always, right? Back. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up, perfect. Exhale down. If I'm going too fast, you can skip and just do every second one. If I'm going too slow, you're going too fast. <laughs> Keep it slow and steady. That's how you win the race, right? Inhale as you come up. Exhale down, fantastic. Getting there. Four more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last one for today. 
Are you at the back of your chair? Just make sure. You want to be at, get against the back. Inhale up again. And as you lower this time, you're going to hover above your chair. Count for four, three, two, one. And then sit down. Fantastic. Excellent. In your chair. I'm going to get you just to come up just a little bit on your chair to about the middle point. Okay. Again, your feet flat on the floor. Okay. Right hand on your left knee. Okay. Your left hand in behind your chair. You're going to grab a hold of it. Lift your heart. Your back is flat. And you're just going to rotate gently to your left using this hand as a little bit of a fulcrum so you can bring yourself around. Be gentle, listen to your body. It might crack and groan a little bit, as long as it doesn't hurt, that's fine. Three, three breaths here. Excellent. And gently release that, come back to center. Excellent. And do the other side as well. So left hand, right knee, right hand in behind. Lift your heart again, and on an exhale, twist to your right. Three breaths, all from your belly. Excellent. Gently release that back again. Center. Nice. Perfect. Okay, I want to do some balance before too long, so I'm going to get you to stand up again um, beside your chair. Lift your heart. All right. Excellent. So let's go with uh, your outside leg is going to be your weight bearing leg. Inside leg is going to bring the, your heel to your ankle. Right? You got your chair for balance to start you off. Right. Once you find that, you want to open your hip up as best you can. Right. Lift your heart. Your back is flat. Excellent. Let go or test yourself for this. If this is too easy, bring that toe off the floor. Excellent. Breathe. And try and do this for 10 seconds. So if you lifted your toe, you're going to set it down and then bring that knee in. Excellent. Shake that out a little bit. And change your weight. So the outside leg is going to be your weight bearing leg. Inside leg against your chair is going to be, is going to be your weight bearing leg. Outside leg is going to do the fancy footwork. Straighten your leg, lift your toe, bring it out front. Excellent. Back to center, don't touch. Out to the side, bring that toe in towards your body, or toward, toward your center rather. Back to center, to the back. Nice, keep that leg straight, pull that toe up. Excellent, test yourself all along the way, back to center, nice. Shake that out, just come in behind you, behind your chair rather. I'm going to do five quick pop-ups here. I'm going to pop up on your toes and back down. So up quick and down. Up. Excellent. Quick. Try and test yourself for balance here too. Excellent. Perfect. Staying behind your chair. I'm going to get you to, you're going to be behind your chair, just so you know. I'm just showing you how this is going. Pick a leg, doesn't matter which one. You're going to do it on both sides here. Bring the other one in behind. Okay. Wrap it around behind your, behind your leg. Tuck your toe into your calf or whatever. Excellent. And again, test your balance here. I'm going to try and hold this for 10 seconds again. Excellent. 
Perfect. Set that leg down. I'm going to switch sides. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. Again, bring that foot in, lock it in, open that hip up as best you can. Fantastic. Again, 10 seconds. Breathe. Perfect. Nice. Set that foot down. And come to the other side of your chair. Again, have a sip of water if you're thirsty. Outside leg is your weight-bearing leg. Inside leg. Heel against the ankle. And again, if you find this very, very easy, with no holding on and that kind of thing, you can lift that toe up. Start by holding and then lift off if you want, recall. Either way, lift your heart, breathe from your belly and in and out through your nose. Excellent. And again, you want to do this for about 10 seconds. A lot of ankle work today. Excellent. Set that foot down. Straighten it out. Perfect. Leg is beside your chair. It's going to be your weight-bearing leg, outside leg. You're going to straighten it. Bring your toe up. Look in front. I'm just going to turn sideways here. So again, heart's lifted. Your back's flat. Straighten that leg. Lift your toe up. Bring it up. Excellent. Back to center. Here to the side. Bring your toe pointed in a little bit. You can't see that. Excellent. And back to center again. And then to the back. Keep that leg straight. And your torso upright. Excellent. And back to center again. Nice. Shake that out. Perfect. Well done. Behind your chair one more time. I'm just going to do some stretches here. We're on to the last few minutes of class here. So pick a leg and you're just going to set it back. Plant your heel. Front knee over the ankle. Right? Your chair is there for if you need it. It doesn't matter if there's no balance here, so you have your choice. Well, there's balance, but there's no... <laughs> this isn't part of the balance part. Excellent. Straighten your leg. Three breaths. Excellent. I'm going to straighten your front leg, take a step, and I'm going to set the other leg back, plant your heel, front knee over the ankle. Nice. Breathe. Excellent. Perfect. Let's take a step forward. Shake those out if you like a little bit. Hips. Again, stay behind your chair. Just gonna move my chair over a little bit more here. Bring your up arms up to the side. Give yourself a good stance. Excellent. Thumbs up. Reach for the walls. Perfect. Breathe. Roll your, roll your thumbs down, rotate your arms, breathe, excellent. Inhale your thumbs back up, nice. So one arm at a time. One arm's going to go up, behind your head, other arm's going to come around you, wrap it around like a belt, fantastic. I'm going to grab your collar. Excellent. Breathe. Perfect. Straighten that arm out. 
Other arm back out. I'm going to switch sides. Fantastic. Breathe. Excellent. Straighten your arms back out again. The side. You lower them down about here. And you're going to push back with just your arms. Feel a stretch across your shoulders. Breathe again. Nice even breaths. Excellent. Bring your arms back in line with your body and just lower them down. Hands on your hips. All right. Just going to shift your hips to one side first. You can lean into it if you choose. Make sure your feet are parallel. Again, three breaths. Don't hurt anything. Be gentle on your body. On an inhale, you're going to bring yourself back up to center. Straighten your hips out. Nice. Push your hips to the other side this time, or when you're ready. And if they don't want to go, don't force them. <laughs> Tilt in a little bit. There we go. Breathe. Three breaths again. On an inhale, bring yourself back up to center again. Perfect. Just shift your hips a little bit and do a little circle with your hips. That's that's good. Loosen them up in the other way. Excellent. Fantastic. Nice work. You're gonna keep your legs open like this. Cross your arms in front. Take a nice deep breath in. Excellent, and exhale your arms down. Do that squat again. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale up. And just your arms this time. Fantastic. Nice work. Excellent.